Yep, the authority, the hadith is by Bara ibn, ibn Azib, and the authority of Dar Qutni and Imam al Bayhaqi, rahimahumallah. A Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he say, if a person that has is sexually default, he lead a people in the salah. He say, aada salatahu that he will repeat his salah, meaning the one that led the prayer will repeat this salah. He say, وَتَمَّتْ لِلْقَوْمِ صَلَاتُهُمْ That the people that prayed behind him, their salah is what? Is valid. Why? Because how would you know a person is junub or not? There is no way you can tell that this individual is junub or not. No, there is, how can you tell? So therefore, the imam or the person that led the prayer, his salah is invalid. Is invalid. And the one that Barakallah Fikum prayed behind him, their salah is what? Is valid. Their salah is valid. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyat rahimahullah rahmatan wasi. I'm going I'm, I'm to say it now. We got a few times. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyat rahimahullah. He said, وَبِذَلِكَ مَضَتْ سُنَّةُ الْخُلَفَاءُ الرَّاشِدِينَ فَإِنَّهُمْ صَلُّوا بِالنَّاسِ ثُمَّ رَأَوْا النَّجَاسَ بَعْدَ الصَّلَاةِ فَأَعَادُوا وَلَمْ يَأْمُرُوا النَّاسِ بِالْإِعَادَةِ He say, and this is by Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah he mentioned. He say from that, it is that the Khulafa al-Rashidun, the Khulafa al-Rashidun, meaning the four Khalifas, he say they pray behind the people, meaning they let the people in the Salah. Meaning after that they pray, right, that they realize that they had filth on them, they themselves repeated the salah, meaning the, the imam repeated the salah, وَلَمْ يَأْمُرُ النَّاسِ بِإِعَادَتِ And they did not ask the people to repeat their salah. So, the Khulafa al-Rashidin, some of them prayed, while they had what? They had filth, whether on their tobe or on their body, or on the buqa'a, on the place where they prayed. So they were leading the prayer. After they finished the salah, Tayyip, they did not ask the people to repeat their salah, but themselves, they repeated their salah. And this goes by the hadith of Bar ibn Azib, by Imam al-Bayhaqi and Imam al-Dar al-Qutni. Iza salla al-junub, if the person that has their sexual default, he lead the, pre, the people in prayer, a'ada salatuhu, he will repeat his salah himself. Tayyip, wa tammat lil qawmi salatuhum, and the people that pray behind him, their salah is Valid. It is sound within Allah. So, yeah. so he mentioned that the Imam Ibn Taymiyyah he said that the Khulafa al Rashidin did not yani, request from the people to repeat their salah, but themselves they repeated their salah. He said, وَإِنْ عَلِمَ الْإِمَامِ أَوِ الْمَأْمُونَ بِالْحَدَثِ أَوِ النَّجَاسَ فِي أَثْنَى الصَّلَاةِ He said, بَطَلَتْ صَلَاتُهُمْ If now the Imam or the ma'mum realize the impurity while in the salah, then the salah is invalid. If the imam or the ma'mum realize, realize the impurity while in the salah, that salah is invalid. You cannot pray behind that imam no more. So yep, you realize that he has impurity on his tobe. You can clearly see it, not guessing. Not guessing, but rather you can bili yakin purely. You can see that this is impurity. You cannot pray behind him no more. Or you heard the imam he passed gas, mathalan, right? Or you seen him came out the bathroom, you know, use the bathroom, right? Came out and just Allahu Akbar start leading the prayer. You seen the whole sequence. You know that he didn't make wudu. Then you are not to be barakallah fikum establishing the prayer behind him. That the salah is a batil. Naam. Wala tasihu. It says here is another point. So we talked about the issues of the impurity. Here is another. And you all remember when the Prophet alayhi salatu salam was praying with his shoes. When he was praying with his shoes. And Allah informed Jibreel to inform the Prophet والسلام, about the, naja, the filth, the najasa that was in his shoes. And he, the Messenger, والسلام, removed the shoes. That shows if something you can remove it that has filth, 
you can remove it without breaking the salah. Let's say if I was to pray and I have this rotara, uh, right, or the kufi, I know, oh, uh, this kid, you know, pee on it, right? So all you got to do, barakallah, remove it. As long as it is not removing, it will expose your aura. You remove it, and this is also from those actions that are allowed in the salah. Let's say it's a jacket that you wear, or a rutra, or a bisht, and the likes of this you have, then you can remove it as long as it is not, it is not, yani, removal or revealing your, your aura in the, in the salah. Now, another issue, barakallah, fikum, is, وَلَا تَصِحُ إِمَامُ الْأُمِّي it is not, it is not valid, the imamate of an illiterate one. But here the illiterate one, وَالْمُرَادُ بِهِ هُنَا مَنْ لَا يَحْفَظُ سُورَةُ الْفَاتِحَةِ أَوْ يَحْفَظُهَا وَلَكِنْ لَا يُحْسِنْ قِرَاءَتُهَا لَا يُحْسِنْ قِرَاءَتُهَا لَا يُحْسِنْ قِرَاءَتَهَا مَعَذِرَ And he, meaning, an uh, illiterate, illiterate person, he is not to be leading the salah. It means someone that does not memorize the Fatiha. Or his memorization of the Fatiha is not correct. He still has some errors. كَانَ يَلْحَنْ فِيهَا لَحْنًا مُحَيِّلُ الْأَلْمَعَنَا كَكَسْرَأَ الْكَافِ إِيَّاكَ so, for instance, he'll be making these mistakes that are changing the meaning. Like adding a kasra on the calf. When you say, iyaka, he say, iyaki. That's completely changing the meaning. Right? Iyaka, he say, iyaki. That's changing the meaning. Or, wadammati ta'i. Right? Or, putting a dhamma on the ta in an'amta. He will say, an'amtu. This is changing the meaning. An'amtu. Right? And iyaki. Right? It's, it's, it's you saying totally different. Right? An'amta. That you, Allah, bless upon them. An'amtu is me. I have given them. Iyaka. You only. Right? Iyaka. You only. Tayyip. But iyaki meaning you in the feminine gender sense. Right? You only, meaning you as a feminine gender only. So you are making Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala a female. Tayyip, iyaki. You are making him a feminine gender. Tayyip, tayyip. But rather it was iyaka. Tayyip, iyaka. So if a person has an issue, he is not to be barakallah fikum. Yani, entrusted with establishing the salah. And likewise, fatha, hamza, or you putting a fatha on a hamza in the statement of ihdina, right? In, in ihdina, you saying ahdina, right? Ahdina, tayyip, ahdina. You putting a fatha on, on, the, on that hamza, tayyip. And the letter is hamza, the name is hamza. The letter is ha. With the Hamza, but the name like him is Hamza. Right? The letter is Hamza. It's not Hamza. The letter is Ham is Hamza. Aha. But when you come to the name, let's say Hamza is by Ha. If you come to the letter, right? The letter it is Ham Ha with the Ha. Hamza. Like Hal Ataka. Right? Uh, the other one is uh, ah. Nah, that's 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 the Hamza. Alhamdu is the the name. Like the ha of Alhamdu, it is the the name of the person. Amma the letter, it is Hamza. It is very important that we make the difference, inshallah. Naam. Allah Akbar.
ولا قوة إلا بالله Naam, so the Shaykh Rahim Hafizahullah, he say, Oh, the person will change a letter with another letter. He will change a letter with another letter. Aw yabdil harfan bighayrihi, he will change a letter with another letter. Tayyip, by way of changing the ra with a ghayn, or changing the lam with the seen, or the seen with the ta, wa nahu dhalik, and the likes of this. He says, so therefore, فَلَا تَسِحُّ إِمَامًا he, This individual that is illiterate, he is not, his imam made is not valid. Illa, except that he is the imam of those who he is alike. He is the imam of those who he is alike. So he, meaning they all struggle in, 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 memory, in, the, in, the, in the itqan, right? The, 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 the wording or the, how they recite. So in that sense, yes. Likewise, the Shaykh Hafizahullah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, he say, it is, not, it is not valid for the imamate of someone that is illiterate, illa, except that he is the imam of the same one that are illiterate like him. Why? Because now they are equal. He say, وَإِذَا كَانُوا If they are all عاجزين عن إصلاحه If they are all not able to rectify him. طيب but here is now the catch. If they all able not to rectify him, they are all the same. So therefore, then his imamate will be, will be sound. Another issue, he say, إِنْ فَإِنْ قُدِرَ الْأُمِّي عَلَىٰ إِصْلَاحِ لِقِرَاءَتِهِ لَمْ يَصِحْ صَلَاتُهُ If now the illiterate person has the ability to fix his recitation, if he has the ability to fix his recitation and he still doesn't fix it and he pray that his salah will not be valid. If the person has the ability to fix his yani, fatiha and he doesn't do so, then his salah is not valid. Tayyip, wala salata. And he doesn't have no salah. Man salah khalfahu. Whomsoever pray behind him, his salah will not be valid. Li'annahu limadha. Because li'annahu taraka rukunan min min al-arkan ma'al qudrati alayhi. He say because he has abandoned a pillar from the pillars of the salah while having the ability of bringing it up properly and correctly. Tayyip. So we that point we mentioned tonight, Barakallah, was in regard to the person that is yani, having an issue with his yani, recitation of the Fatiha. If he is struggling and those who he praying behind are struggling as him because they can rectify him, then alhamdulillah the salah will be valid. But if he has the mean to rectify it and he does not do so, then he his salah will not be will not be valid. Another issue, barakallahu feekum. Wa yukrahu an ya'ummu ar-rajul qawman aktharuhum yakrahuhu bihaqqin. Here is a very important point also. It is dislike to appoint a person to be the imam or to lead the salah that many or most of the congregation, they barakallahu fikum, are dissatisfied about him. That most of the congregation are dissatisfied with him, bihaqqin, with do right. Not they just dissatisfied with him because he's not from their tribe or he's not from their country or something. No, bihaqqin, based on any Islamic values or based